To sketch the parabola, we need to identify the endpoints of the latus rectum, which are negative 2p and p and positive 2p and p. Replace p with 1 fourth and simplify. Negative 2 times 1 fourth is negative 1 half. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Divide 4 is negative 2 over 4. Find its lowest term, kaya naging negative 1 half. We just simply copy 1 fourth. Then positive 2 times 1 fourth is positive 1 half, and then copy 1 fourth. So we can now plot these points on the Cartesian plane. 1 half is 0.5 in decimal, and 1 fourth is 0.25. So negative 1 half or negative 0.5 and positive 1 fourth or 0.25 is located here. And then positive 1 half or 0.5 and 1 fourth or 0.25 is located here. Connect these points and we now have our parabola opening upward. And this is the length of the latus rectum. 0.5 plus 0.5 is equal to 1. And this is the axis of symmetry x equals 0. It is along y axis. Another example. Number 4. 2x squared plus 5y equals 0. First, transpose 5y to the right side kaya naging negative 5y. Dapat dito, x squared lang siya. So we need to divide the equation by 2. So we crossed out 2. We have x squared equals negative 5 over 2 times y. And again, it is quadratic in x. So this is either upward or downward. But since it is negative here, we conclude that this is parabola opening downward. To check whether it is downward, we need to find the value of p. This negative 5 halves is the value of 4p. To solve for p, divide the equation by 4. So we have p equals, now to simplify this, let us find the reciprocal of the denominator. So this is equal to, we copy the numerator, negative 5 halves, we change the operation from division to multiplication, and find the reciprocal of 4, which is 1 over 4, or 1 fourth. Simplify, negative 5 over 2 times 1 fourth is equal to negative 5 over 8. Negative 5 times 1 is negative 5, 2 times 4 is 8. So p is equal to negative 5 over 8, and this is less than 0. Since the equation is quadratic in x, and p is less than 0, therefore, the parabola opens downward. At ito pa rin ang mga values na gagamitin natin. So the focus is 0p, which is at 0, negative 5 over 8. Next, is the directrix, which is y equals negative p. Replace p with negative 5 over 8, so negative times negative 5 over 8 is positive 5 over 8. Then, find the length of the latus rectum. Replace p with negative 5 over 8 and simplify. The absolute value of 4 times negative 5 over 8 is 20 over 8. Reduce 20 over 8 in its lowest form, so we have 5 over 2. We divide the numerator and denominator by their GCF, which is 4. 20 divided 4 is 5, and 8 divided 4 is 2. So the length of the latus rectum is 5 halves. Then find the endpoints of the latus rectum. Replace P with negative 5 over 8 and simplify. Negative 2 times negative 5 over 8 is positive 10 over 8. Negative 2 times negative 5 is positive 10 over 8. Then just copy negative 5 over 8. Then 2 times negative 5 over 8 is negative 10 over 8 and copy negative 5 over 8. We can still reduce 10 over 8 in its lowest form. So we have 5 over 4 and negative 5 over 8 and negative 5 over 4 and negative 5 over 8. Here, we divide the top and the bottom by 2. 
kaya naging 5 over 4. So, these are the endpoints of the latus rectum. In decimal, 5 over 4 is 1.25 and 5 over 8 is 0.625. Let us now draw the parabola. The vertex is at the origin, while the focus is at 0, negative 5 over 8. Negative 5 over 8 is negative 0.625 in decimal. So it is located here, somewhere below negative 0.5. So this is the focus, 0, negative 5 over 8, or 0, negative 0.625. Then the directrix, which is y equals 5 over 8. Again, 5 over 8 is 0 0.625. Let us find this value along y axis. And 5 over 8 or 0 0.625 is located somewhere above positive 0 0.5. So it is here. Next, locate the endpoints. Positive 1.25 is between 1 and 1.5. And negative 0 0.625 is located here. Find their intersection. So this is the point 5 over 4 and negative 5 over 8. Similarly, negative 1.25 is between negative 1 and negative 1.5. Find its intersection with negative 0.625. So this is the point negative 5 over 4 and negative 5 over 8. Connect these points and this is now the graph of the parabola. 2x squared plus 5y equals 0, which opens downward. This is the length of the latus rectum, and this is the axis of symmetry, x equals 0. So that is how we identify the parts of the parabola given the equation. But what if the equation is no longer given? At pinapahanap na sa atin ang equation ni parabola given lamang ang focus or directrix or the length of the latus rectum. How do we do that? Let us have an example. Find the equation of the parabola having its focus at 2, 0 and directrix x equals negative 2. Also, find the length of the latus rectum. In this problem, we are looking for the equation of the parabola given the focus and the directrix. The focus is at 2, 0, and directrix is x equals negative 2, and this is the value of p. Since nauuna ang value ni p kaysa 0, and the equation of the directrix is x, we can say that the parabola opens either right or left. Nauuna dito ang p bago ang 0. Then, sa equation ni directrix, it's x. But since the value of p is positive, we have positive 2, we conclude that the parabola opens to the right. Now that we have determined the opening of the parabola, we can now find the equation. If the parabola opens right or left, we use the equation y squared equals 4px. Since this parabola opens right, we're gonna use the equation y squared equals 4px, where p is equal to 2. Just replace p with a given value, which is 2, and simplify. 4 times 2 is 8, and copy x. So the equation of the parabola is y squared equals 8x. Then find the length of the latus rectum which is the absolute value of 4p. Replace p with 2, so the absolute value of 4 times 2 is 8, which is equal to this value. Another example, number 6, find the length of latus rectum, and equation of parabola having its vertex at the origin, axis along x-axis, and passing through the point 3, 6. In this problem, we are also going to find the equation of parabola and the length of latus rectum, but this time, walang given na focus o directrix. But sabi dito sa problem that the axis is along x-axis, and it passes through the point 3, 6. Now, if the axis is along x-axis, which is here, the parabola opens right or left. 
and we're gonna use this equation, y squared equals 4px. Kung along y-axis siya, ito ang gagamitin nating equation. But since the given is along x-axis, therefore, the equation is y squared equals 4px. The problem is, wala tayong value ni p para masimplify ang equation kasi walang given na focus unlike sa problem number 5 na meron. But we are given a point, 3, 6. This means the parabola should pass through this point. We substitute these values into the equation where x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 6 to solve for p. Replace y with 6 equals 4p and replace x with 3, then simplify. 6 squared is 36 equals 4 times 3 is 12 and copy p. To solve for p, we divide the equation by 12. So we have p equals 36 divided 12 is 3. Therefore, p is equal to 3. We can now substitute this value into the equation. So we have y squared equals, replace p with 3 and simplify. 4 times 3 is 12 and copy x. Therefore, the equation of parabola having its vertex at the origin axis along x-axis and passing through the point 3, 6 is y squared equals 12x. The length of the lattice rectum is also equal to 12. Another example, find the equation of the parabola and the equation of the directrix having its vertex at the origin and focus at negative 1 half 0. In problem number 7, we are to find the equation of the parabola and the equation of the directrix given only the focus which is at negative 1 half 0. In this case, nauna pa rin ang value ni p kaysa 0. So we are still going to use this equation, y squared equals 4px, where p is equal to negative 1 half. Replace p with negative 1 half and simplify. 4 times negative 1 half is negative 2, then copy x. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4, divide 2 is negative 2. And this is now the equation of parabola. Next, let us determine the equation of the directrix. The equation of the directrix is x equals negative p. Since p is negative 1 half times negative, the equation of the directrix is x equals positive 1 half. Or we can use our technique. Pag y dito sa equation, pagdating sa directrix ay x siya. At kung negative ang value ni p, magiging positive siya dito. Okay? 